Good afternoon, this is Frank Biggs with B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon, the greater Portland metro area. And I have the privilege to show you today a 2014 all new redesigned Rushmore, Washington. The Rushmores are built by Crossroads, the division of Thor, and these happen to be now built in the Redwood factory. First off, you'll notice the Rotoflex Trail Air uh, pin box up here. It dampens the ride on the pickup and the fifth wheel. Got a one piece cap up here. This is painted up here. Nice aesthetics. Move along. Uh, since it's moved into the uh, Redwood factory, uh, we're going to have a lot of the similarities and some of the items that the Redwood has. This is a vacuum bonded wall here. That's new. This is a vacuum bonded here. We'll have the frameless windows like the Redwood. Those are dual pane windows, thermal. It'll also be built on the Falcon chassis, which is uh, part of the Redwood. It's built from the ground up by Thor, and uh, every component is tied to that and designed for that chassis. You'll notice this huge door here, into the cargo hold. And if you look up underneath, you'll see that it's finished off. There's no bare wood underneath there. There's nice, like, redwood underneath there, so that's going to be insulated in the floor underneath the, uh, in the bedroom. I think it's about R27. You'll notice there's an electric awning over the door here. Nice four-step system. We also have automatic leveling here. This is a six-point system. There's three on each side. Two of them on, are in the forward up here and then behind the rear tire. And that's the same on the other side. Just a push of a button. You'll love this big 30-inch door. And I don't have no more plastic back here to hold it. It's designed. It's just like the Redwood. At a considerably less amount of money. It's nice handle. We move over here. You'll notice another awning over this slide out. So if you're entertaining, uh, you can move out into here and be covered. You also notice a nice one-piece cat back here with a large set of windows back here. Again, these are frameless windows, 90% uh, dark UV. I can't even see in there right now. So they work really well and they are dual pane again, thermal. Uh, the ladder on the back here, a uh, place for the hose, of course, with a rear bumper. You could even put a bicycle rack back here, the way it's designed. Move along the side here. Of course, we have another slide out over here. Uh, this happens to be your 50 amp power cord hookup, that marine hookup. All right, you'll notice the vents for the refrigerators back here. We've got a lot of circulation. Uh, the Washington, as well as the rest, most of the rest of the Rushmore's, have two eight cubic foot refrigerators in here. And I'll talk about that when I get inside. But we, anyway, that's the refrigerator vents. We take over here, we have a 12 gallon hot water heater, a big furnace in here. This is the other part here that's great. There's access from here. Uh, this is your service bay here. It's all enclosed into a heated compartment area. Now you can bypass hot water heater, your galley, and your gray water tank switches. They're all embedded. So uh, this is a, a residential style fifth wheel. I mean, not that you can't use it for recreation, but if I had to live in one, I could definitely live in this. All right. So this is your service area. Uh, this is a control for the LCI electronic, which is part of Lipiter. And uh, it's a very uh, state of the art system. And of course, on each side you have your propane tank. These are the uh, 7.5 gallon bottles, 30 pounds. Uh, you could put a, a bigger one here if you wanted to. So anyway, I think it's time to go inside and check out this beautiful coach with the re new redesign inside. What do you think of the Washington by Rushmore? This is beautiful. So much space. So many similarities to this big brother, the Redwood. Um, light switches everywhere. You don't have to go push the button up here. Uh, the table with the leaf. You do get a couple folding chairs to go with this. Again, uh, the frameless windows, these are insulated, dual pane windows. You've got the beautiful uh, stadium seating here. Very popular now, the stadium over two recliners. I got I can stretch out so you have residential, 
residential style furniture in here. Again, light switches. It's real nice balances here. Uh, another thing that we have on this is, is in the redwood, we do have the pull down MCD style shade. All right, this is a dark out. It actually darkens out, nobody can see. We don't need a solar shade in here because the windows are so dark, but I just let them pull and they go back up. How about that, huh? Got them everywhere through this coach. Of course, you got the large sofa back here. Uh, this happens to be a bed system. And if we should show it to you, you know, we've done away with air beds. Thing of the past, too much warranty. So these beds here with the, the, the foam style, are far superior and it's residential pull this down go like that there we go of course i have this pulled out a little bit flip it down yahoo what do you think nice comfortable all right it's just as easy to put back up all right gotta love it Oh, soft too. And of course you got the big TV over here above the fireplace. This fireplace puts out about 5,000 BTUs. And this seems to have a, uh, a bracket on it so we can swing it. Access to Hydra DVDs back here. Nice. You'll notice on the cabinetry we got hidden hinges here. Look at the thickness of these real hardware doors on here. This is beautiful. Lots of cabinet space. Have a pantry. This part's finished off like the redwood. You know, here at the dealership, we have brought in the rush floors back in. Uh, we have a couple on board here. We have the Washington, the Franklin. We're probably gonna get a new front living room model uh, in. But we also carry the redwood and we have many fifth wheels here. We think like think we have the best brands in the market and uh, the owner of this company is real picky on what he brings into his dealership to sell to his customers. All right, we've got solid service countertop here. Look at that, everywhere. 22 inch oven, even got stove top covers. A lot of companies leave that off. Of course, we'll have a microwave here. This is the refrigerators I was talking about. Uh, two big Norkel eight cubic foot refrigerators. So you could have those that want their cool beverages over here and the regular food over here uh, the norkel's got a nice big lift to hold that tillamook ice cream in there or whatever brand you use and we move around over here to the kitchen area um, you'll notice the big deep sink here nice tall faucet so you can actually wash a pan and of course this pulls out and then we look down in here you got nice cabinetry finished off underneath here okay and uh, roller bearing guides and there's a place down here that you actually got a garbage can that'll fit in here and then a little slide out pantry now I want to go to the roof line as with the big brother the redwood there isn't a lot of differences we have residential style AC in here. We have both, there's two ACs in here. There's a 15, a midship here, and then the 13.5. The intakes are residential from the side, so you have about that much roof line, so you're not hearing the compressor. So if I'm watching TV and I'm light on hearing, I can watch it, not, it you know, on a hot day and the air conditioner is not bugging me. So that is positive. Look at the accent here, the crown molding, the molding going across the top, the ceiling fan. The accents are beautiful in here, LED lights, speaker systems up there, and the cabinetry in the back, oh my gosh, I mean, you know, I'm only 5'10", I can still reach here. This is a beautiful coach. And then we do have a little uh, door over here to hang coats up here along the main door, okay? Or we use it for a washer dryer because this is where it would go. It's a stackable washer dryer system. Otherwise, you could use it for a closet or an extra pantry. Notice the, the control panels here. We have the Max Air Fan here. The nice thing about the Max uh, Fan is that it's got two arms on the vent in just in case you left it open. So it's all controlled here because that's 
taller than I am over there, light switches, slide out controls, awning controls, a two-way hot water heater, and the control for the uh, air conditionings down here. So I think it's time to go up the stairs here and see the bedroom and bathroom. Look at how wide this is in here. I could carry something up through here. All right, nice big picture window here, full length. I could sit here out here with a camera and take pictures of wildlife out there in the by Yellowstone or whatever. And you do have, uh, you can open a window here also. Okay, we do have a louvered window. Again, these are dual pane uh, frameless windows. This goes into the bathroom here. Look at the accent on the door. Nicely done, stainless steel fixtures. And when we go in the bathroom here, of course, you've got a nice big sink here with a uh, solid service countertop, nice vanity. Um, of course, a one piece shower stall, 50 inch shower stall with a seat in it porcelain toilet area and a nice huge uh, cabinet back here to be able to put towels or whatever you want. It goes all the way. It must be two feet deep. Now the chassis on this enables us to have this nice flat area in here into the bathroom. Check out that nice door. Closes off nicely. Uh, we had up here we'll have two slides. That's why this is so wide up here. You have the wardrobe slide going out. All right. And you got the bed slide, which is extremely deep on this with the king bed in it. And we have windows on both sides. You have windows here, so it's really lighting this up. That's a big change for them. TV's up here. You got all these drawers with roller bearing guides. Lots of cabinets, hanging closets. You can fold pants or, and put shirts up there. You walk into the closet over here. Check this baby out. You can get rid of Frank Biggs at B Young RV. Nice hanging built in nice that place shoe power outlet this is nice there's a light in here of course and then we get to the bed here um, we've got storage those are the extra two chairs and uh, when you look at this you'll see that they use plywood under here um, instead of particle board again LED lights to everything except for in the closet in there this is, this is like the penthouse suite up here. Look at this, huge. You don't have to worry about bumping into somebody when you gotta change clothes up here. Again, this is Frank Biggs, B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon, greater Portland metro area. And as I get to sit down here, I want, in my Lauren Ashley stadium seating, I wanna thank you for uh, visiting with me today. I welcome you to come to B. Young RV and look at the vast inventory we have of fifth wheels. The Crossroads, the Redwood, the uh, Rushmore, we have the Sanibel by Primetime, the Crusader, we have the Bay Hill by Evergreen, the Solitude, plus all the fifth wheel toy haulers and everything else, motorhomes and that. So, as we say at B. Young RV, come shopping today and you can be camping tomorrow. Thank you.